All right, you guys, so welcome on board. We're on the new 27 foot full cabin again, and right now we're on the back deck checking out what this boat has to offer. So we have a teak table back here, as you can see. And this boat is set up to really entertain and hang out and lounge. We've got the full width bench seat that seats four adults comfortably, but these boats have an optional walk through door on the side. So some clients, they want to walk through door here and maybe they want this to be converted to a fish box. And so that's part of the ordering process. When you place your order, you tell us what you're looking for back here and then we'll accommodate you the best we can. We have twin 300 Yamahas on this boat. The biggest horsepower we offer in this model. Uh, this boat's about a 60 mile an hour boat on the top end. And this one does have the integrated steering system from Yamaha that was new with the DEC Hellmaster EX. So that's the same bracket you're gonna see on the 425, which is pretty special considering these are the 300s. But that's what Yamaha does, and we like this package a lot. So first off, what you're gonna see back here that I'll show you and walk through is just the cushion system that we have. All of our cushions are designed to be easily removed if you wanna take them off and store them in the cabin on a rough day. Uh, maybe you're leaving the boat for the, the, the weekend or for the week and you want to take the upholstery off and just keep it clean, well, guess what? It's very easy to do. Once the upholstery is up on the backrest here, you can see we've got three lockers. Back here, we've got our main battery switches as well as our main power disconnects for the house and the windlass. We like to have all our main power sources back here near the batteries, near the source of power. It's the cleanest way to do it so we're not running big cable all over the boat. Under the center hatch, you're just gonna find that we have our charge leads coming off of the Yamahas and then our primer bulbs for fuel. And then on this side is just our diesel fuel fill hose, the venting and the primer pump for the diesel heater. This boat does have a uh, Wabasto well, diesel heater on board. We carry five gallons of diesel and that is gonna last you, depending on how you use it, it might last you all summer in fact. Below the lower hatch here, you're gonna find two batteries. Those are our engine batteries. The boat is set up that each engine has its own battery bank, and then the house has its own battery bank. And depending on your, your DC loads, we may end up actually having two house batteries. These are the, uh, uh, the Group 31s from West Marine, and we really like these batteries because you can have the same battery for all three batteries, and you got 100 amp hours in the house, You've got the cranking uh, power you need for the engines and it's really easy for somebody if they have to get a new battery, they're all the same. And it's a full warranty 18 months. Can't beat it. Under the center, on this boat, what you're gonna find is we have a wet locker. So throw ice, throw drinks, maybe throw fish in there. If you're a good fisherman, I don't know, but you've got a place to put stuff and it's gonna be self-draining and you can rinse it out when you're done at the end of the day. Uh, just a really nice, simple wet locker for people. And then under the starboard side, what you're gonna find is similar to the port, but this time it's gonna be the house battery. We've got a fire extinguisher as well in there and we have a battery tender from NOCO. So that is a 110 volt battery tender to be used out of the water, not in the water. This boat is not set up with shore power. It could be if you wanted it to be, but this one is set up for dockside um, to, to run off of just the house battery. And then when you pull the boat for winter storage, you can plug that in and you can charge those batteries up. Okay, a couple other things you're gonna see on this boat. On the back locker here, is that you're gonna find how we set it up. So if you look port and starboard, you're gonna see downrigger outlets on either side, as well as water connections on either side. And the reason being, we have salt water on one side and fresh water on the other. This boat holds 20 gallons of fresh water, 10 gallons of black, and 185 of fuel. The 27 is so special for us because of the way it's configured and the options available to users. This one is configured with the removable canvas. It's a smaller version of our 31 foot GT Coupe. We pioneered that boat and we've taken some of those design cues and we've paired them down to the 27, which has been heavily requested of us ever since we came out with the 31 GT Coupe. So this one has the removable eyes and glass enclosure. 
It's a double track system. You can slide the door from side to side or you can just take it off. Right now we've taken everything off. It takes just a few minutes to put up. We'll show you what it looks like to put that up later on in this video. One of the other features that we brought in from the GT Coupe was the folding backrest. This was really requested by the owner of this boat because he loved the GT Coupe, but he needed to get a 27 because that was what he had available for his storage location. And that's how it is for some clients. So we brought that into this boat and it worked out extremely well. We have two of them. Um, really like that feature. Storage below on either side. And then we have the backrests here. Now these backrests, they come off and there's aluminum filler panels that are stored here normally. And guess what? These backrests, they fill in. You put the aluminum panels down first and then you put the cushions down and this converts to one giant sleeper. For clients that are looking for more of a protected enclosed cabin, part of the sales process is you tell us and we'll put an aluminum bulkhead here with a true locking door and two windows that are drop framed. So you don't have to have the eyes and glass enclosure. You can have a full aluminum bulkhead if you like. Moving forward here, you're gonna see two captain's chairs, one for the driver, one for the navigator. These are the Shockwave Corbin II seats with the Shocks X8 pedestals with slide and twist. So you can really position these in any orientation you like. Uh, for the passenger, it's really quite nice because they can turn around and they can enjoy the company that they have on board very simply and very easily. So it's an entertaining space. It's very easy to entertain on this boat. Below the passenger seats where you're gonna find the black water tank. Again, it's 10 gallons. And then on the passenger side, you're gonna see we've set it up with three gauges to monitor the different tanks in the boat. The diesel, the black water, and the fresh water as well as USBs and 12 volt sockets. We don't have a VHF radio, but that's what goes here. Garmin, they're having a hard time in 2022 getting VHF radios out, but soon hopefully we'll have them and we will put one right where this is. You're gonna see the Hertz Marine stereo system. We've got four six and a half inch speakers on the boat, Bluetooth audio, really crystal clear sound. That's why we chose to go with Hertz. And then right above the radio is the Wabasto diesel heater. These are awesome little units. You can set temp, you can set a duration of time to run. They're about 12,000 BTUs. They will cook out this cabin and they have fan only and heat. So and maybe you just wanna run defrost and you wanna move air throughout the cabin. Well, we've got these fans and we've got these fans. So it's very easy to move air as well as our large sliders, which we love. Over on the driver's side, we've optioned a 16 inch Garmin main chart plotter with a seven inch for the engine display. This one has the Hellmaster EX with joystick. And so you can see we've got autopilot, we've got joystick controls, we've got digital throttles. It's really easy to drive and use. As well as tilt helm and the same features on the driver's seat. It slides, it swivels. And then we've got the integrated height adjustable footrest. And so one of the things that we liked about the 27 so much is that if you like to stand, the seat can go all the way aft. And me as an operator who's six foot two has clearly enough headroom to stand and operate the vessel. I can grab my cleat, I can run my dock line, I can use my joystick. It's what we wanted in the 27. Uh, really happy with the layout of the boat. We've got our searchlight up on top here, and then we've got our privacy cutty door. Behind this door is where we have our head, and then we have a small little cutty to store your bags when you're running up to different uh, destinations for the weekend, I hope. So down here, Here's where we've got our canvas for this boat. We'll pull it out. 
set that up in just a minute. But as you can see now that the door is open, it's a clear walk through to the bow with an all glass door at the front of the cuddy. Great accommodations down here if you have uh, a couple little kids that you want to have a place where they, they can sleep as well as the adults can sleep. They can sleep in the main cabin. So it makes a weekend getaway boat. You're also going to find down here a fully electric flushing toilet from Tecma. It's a, it's a smaller bowl, but it's the same size drain output on the toilet. That's why we chose this model. So it works extremely well, just like the bigger toilets that Tecna makes. They make a high quality product. Flushing, macerating, it does everything. It's perfect. All right, so as you transition up to the bow of the boat, you're gonna find just like on the bigger boats that we do, the same features in the 27. So this boat has the bow door that folds down. It has the flip down ladder. And below this hatch, you're gonna find a drum windlass. Lone Star Marine, Marine heavy duty drum windlasses with the ultramarine shackle. So now you have a windlass that is easy to use, it's easy to operate, it's easy to store, and you don't have to worry about it getting bound up or that you don't have enough fall in the locker. You can operate it from the dash as well as a wireless key switch that we provide with all of our vessels. So if you're up here and you wanna run the windlass, you have a floating, in case you drop it over, but a floating wireless key switch. All right, everybody. So we're gonna show you how to put the canvas up on the 27 foot full cabin. People always ask us, how hard is it to do? Well, it's only three pieces. The beauty is with the track system, we slide it in, we have our snaps. You're gonna see that we have these fiberglass snaps, which we love, no corrosion, works extremely well. Next, I'll put the door on. And the beauty of the door is because we have double tracks, I can slide the door to one side when I'm not using it. And that's as simple as it is. We have all three pieces operated on the boat. There we go. We're secure, we're ready to go. You turn the heater on, it's gonna stay warm, cozy, dry, and quiet in there which is what we love about the 31 GT Coupe, and that's why it's paired so well down to the 27-foot full cabin. Thanks for taking a look, everybody, and stay tuned. Coming later this year, you're gonna see this same model with an aluminum bulkhead and a truly locking uh, hinging door right here, and then even later on this year, we're gonna build one with a rear steering station over here, so if you like to fish by yourself, there's nothing better than having a rear steering station. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, info at inventechmarine.com. Everybody stay tuned. Take care.